Hello, good morning, or afternoon, or evening. Hey, welcome to day nine. Yes. Of our 30 day challenge. That means we're almost a third of the way there. Hope you're almost. feeling good, stronger, yeah. sore, all those things, good. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, today we have some optional, different optional equipment than usual, so if you uh, want to pause this in a second and go grab it and then come back, we're going to use something for weight. You want two. It can be dumbbells, it could be bottles of water. Nancy has her coconut water. Again, um, it could be two books. As long as you can hold them comfortably, yeah, it's fine. All right, just something for some added weight. Um, and then a sturdy chair is optional also. You don't need any of this stuff, but if you have it, it's going to add to add to the challenge <laughs> and hopefully increase the effectiveness. That's, I'm that's not the using goal. a chair, so you'll see Yeah, you'll you don't see, have a chair, it's yeah. fine. You can do different things. Here we go. Okay. I'm going to lie down. Yes. Opening Savasana. You can close your eyes. We always do this to settle into our spot. So take a deep breath in through your nose. And open your mouth, exhale. Take a deep breath. Open your mouth, exhale. And then you're training your body and mind. Deep breath. That when you do this, it's time to relax. Exhale. Take a deep breath. And training yourself to notice that this is time for you. Exhale. And this is time to focus on you. Open your eyes, wiggle your toes or fingers a little bit. You can bend your knees, bring your feet in close to your bum, hip width distance for our warm-up spinal articulation. Arms are down by your side, hip width distance between the knees, ankles under your knees. It's a very slow movement here. Inhale first, fill your lungs. Now exhale, tuck, curl, and slowly peel your hips up. Get that shushing breath blowing between your teeth, and hold it at the top. So shoulder blades are down still. Hips up in line between knees and shoulders, ideally. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down. One vertebra at a time. All right, take a deep breath. Exhale, tuck, curl, peel your hips up. Keep your stomach in tight while you do this. Your pelvic floor muscles tight. So imagine you need the bathroom, but there is not one available. Inhale. Exhale. Slowly lower down. One vertebra at a time. So we may get into the glute bridges. It's very similar with these muscular contractions. Take a deep breath. Exhale. Tuck. Curl. Peel your hips up. Slowly lift. Weight is evenly distributed over your feet. You want to feel pain in the knees or the back here. Inhale. Exhale, slowly lower down. So usually if there's pain in your knees or back, either your feet are getting a little too close to your bum or they're a little too far out. It can, it can cause pressure in different areas. All right, one more time. Take a deep breath. Exhale, tuck, curl, slowly peel your hips up. The last one of these. And take your time. Squeeze your butt to drive it. Still stomach in, shoulders down from your ears. Inhale, exhale, slowly lower down, one vertebra at a time. All right, we're going to start our glute bridges. So optional resistance band, which I don't think I even mentioned before, but we've been using this every day. If you want it, if you have it, go for it. Slide it above your knees. We're going to stick with our hip width distance here. So feet back where you had them. My feet in the right spot. They look good, yep. They might be a tiny bit close to your bum. Tiny bit, yep. All right, arms are down by your side, palms down. Here we go. Ready? Time to start your music if you're using it at home. Inhale. 
Exhale, hips up, inhale, down. Exhale, up, inhale, down. Exhale, up, down, up, down. Use your exhale as you lift. Inhale the way back down. Remember this time we're not touching the ground with the hips. So if I slide my hands under there, I might bump my hands a little bit, then going back up. But you want to keep your arms by your side. Just feel for it. Make sure you're not touching the ground. Up and down. Up and down. Last five. Four, three, two, one. Hold it at the top. And I do calf raises, heels coming up and down. Up and down. So come as high on your toes as you can and back down. The heels are coming all the way to the floor. When you come down, but keep your hips up, keep your bridge. Chin a little tucked. Still stomach in. So heels up and down. Exhale up. Inhale down. I feel the like calf muscles working some here. Last five, four, three, two, hold it on your toes, pulse your hips, up, 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 small range of motion, just a little pulse with the hips, tiny, tiny pulse. Really just a little extra squeeze of your glutes. And I realize I never talked about what today's focus is. Today is upper body. So this is the only round of glute bridges today. I'm going to give you a countdown. We're going to start to butterfly the knees. In five, four, three, two, one. Knees out, close. Out. Close. If they don't touch, that's okay. Exhale, open together. Exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale. And exhale as you separate. Inhale and back. Again, only one round of bridges. Stay with it. We're almost done with it. We always start with bridges. One reason the glutes are pretty big muscles. Good way to start warming up with the glutes and the legs. Five, four, three, two, one, and change. All right, lower down. You can remove your bend. And hug your knees into your chest a little bit. Oh, oh man. All right, we're going to do some abs next because we do those every class too. <clears throat> a little bit of glute bridges every time at least and then some abs every class. So we're going to do a low boat pulse and a reverse crunch. Reverse crunch I know we just did in the last couple classes. <laughs> low boat pulse Similar to things we've done. So you're going to bring your shoulders up, legs up, thighs tight. Think legs at a 45 degree angle from the ground. Right? Hands can be behind your head. Shh, shh, shh. Pulse the shoulders up. Shh, shh. Lower back pressed into the floor. Second round, we're going to do a reverse crunch. So you're going to come into a position like you want to do a crunch, except instead of hands behind your head, I'm going to keep them down by your side and bring your knees up towards your chest, keeping the bend in your knees. Shh. Hips can come up. They don't have to. Shh. Right, just as much knees to your chest as you can, and go slow. 
Shh. All right, here we go. Ready? Set. Shoulders up and go. Legs up. Shh. Little pulses. So just a little bit chest up. Right? Not chin to chest in the pulse. Shh. Shh. Just a little bit chest up. Shh. 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 Keeping your shoulders off the ground. Shh. Belly in tight. Shh. Change. All right. Reverse crunch. Arms are by your side. Knees bent. Ready, set, and go. And coming down very gently. Exhale, crunch. Inhale, down. Change. Oh, I'm feeling that one today. All right. <laughs> Ready, low boat pulse. Set, legs up, shoulders up, go. Shh, shh. Think looking up towards the ceiling, right down above your feet maybe. Shh, shh, but towards the ceiling. Shh, shh, shh. Thighs tight, point your toes. Shh, 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 shh. Change. And reverse crunch. I guess I'm feeling everything today. <laughs> <laughs> Ready, set, and go. Shh. Shh. As much range of motion as you can. Shh. You don't want to come all the way up on your shoulders. <clears throat> Shh. So keep your knees bent. Shh. Change. All right, halfway through. Right. Back to low boat pulse. Ready, set, and go. So elbows are out wide here too, right? Try not to bring them in. Elbows out. And if you don't need them, you don't have to have them there. Right? If your neck is okay, you don't need them. Change. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was like barely moving there. Yeah, me too. That's okay. Little pulse is okay. Ready, set, and go. Reverse crunch. Even if you're not pulsing in that one, if you're holding, right? Super effective still. Same muscles. Change. Ooh, last one of each. Ready, set, and go. Your pace with the pulse too. A little exhale, pulse up. Just work to keep the shoulders up, thighs tight, change. Ooh. That's reminding me that core day was yesterday. Here we go, arms by your side. Ready? And go. Shh. Shh. It's okay, but a challenge like this where you're doing 30 days in a row, Shh. you're gonna have ups and downs. You're gonna have days where you feel great, days where it's a struggle, yeah. change. Just roll with it, do the best you can. Right, no judgment. No, nope, exactly. Here we go. Side plank. <clears throat> you know the drill with the top leg now, right? You can adjust it. You can roll your mat up for your elbow if you need and forearm. Here we go. Ready, set, and go. Flex your bottom foot. Stretch up tall. So again, the form notes here, nice long line, shoulders, hips, ankles. Hips and shoulders are vertically stacked. Uh, resist the shoulder coming in, even when the arm is up, sometimes the shoulder is in. You want to keep the shoulder back. Press your form into the ground. Active bottom shoulder. 
Squeeze your butt. You're in that same a little bit. Your elbow a little bit forward. Well, that's too bad. I know. It's a little late now. <laughs> <laughs> stretch up, stretch up, and change. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> All right, we're coming on to our belly. So today we're going to do a prone series. We are going to do a few planks. Um, our prone move between our planks today is one thing. So it's called grasshopper. You're going to lie on your belly. You can put your head on your hands, right? That's okay. Knees open towards the edge of your mat. Bend your knees, flex your feet. Bring your heels together, right? So this is the setup. Knees are open wide, flex your feet. And then you just want to bring your heels together from there. Your toes are apart. Right? My feet from the ceiling, if these are my feet, look like this, like a big V, right? Toes are out, but heels together. And then you're going to lift the lower body. Right? So keeping the, knee, keeping the knees bent. Exhale, lift. Inhale, down. And lower body staying down, keeping the bend in your knees. Okay. All right, here we go. We're doing that for 30 seconds first. Like up and down, not holding. Yeah, up and down. So you're going to come down to the floor and then exhale, lift up. Okay. Ready, set, and go. Chest down. Just as much range of motion as you can. Think like you want to plant the soles of your feet on the ceiling. So you're going to squeeze your glutes, work in the lower back too, and hamstrings, change. All right, we're doing a little bit different plank sequence today. So we're going to start in high plank. First one, if you can, we're going to tap shoulders. You can hold the plank with your feet close, right, high plank, or open your feet a little bit and tap the shoulders. All right? Okay. Here we go. Coming up high plank, one minute. Ready, set, and go. And so the only difference if you're tapping is your feet are open, right? Same form. Hmm. And if you're tapping, try not to twist your hips, or we're not coming up into side plank. Yeah, I don't know about tapping. That's okay. <laughs> right? If you can, you do it. If you're not having it today, Hold the plank. So your weight is going to shift. If you see mine, I'm shifting a little side to side, but not letting the hips twist. So keep your belly in. Keep your glutes tight. Coming towards the end. We're under 10 seconds now. And change. All right, coming back down for grasshopper. Okay. On your belly, and open your knees, flex your feet, bend your knees. Think shins are vertical right now, and then bring the heels together. Ready, set, and go. 30 seconds. Exhale with each lift. So you can't see them, but really try to feel what your legs are doing. Right, feel your thighs come up. Feel your knees keeping that bend, right? Don't let them open. I know a lot of times they want to open and close the knees. Change. All right, forearm plank. One minute. Ready? Okay. Set. And go. A little less demonstration before some of these because you've been doing them a lot. But when we're in them, I'll remind you, right? Chest forward, press your heels back. It's a nice long body. You can spread your fingers apart. We like parallel forearms rather than hands together. It does change the way your shoulders are working. Not so much effect on the core, but we want the shoulders to feel this. Press your 
arms against the ground, trying not to let the shoulders rest or the chest drop. Coming towards the end already. Under 15 seconds. You got this, eyes a little forward. Give yourself a smile if you're shaking. Almost there. And change. All right, back down for grasshopper. Oh yeah. Don't forget. <laughs> I like an exercise where you keep my head on my arms. Yeah, I know. It's restful for the upper body here it in between. Is. Ready, set, and go. This one more about the glutes and low back and hamstrings. So I'm not, not exactly upper body. Low back is part of the upper body, but shh, more part of your core. Shh. But don't worry, we got more upper body work to go. Shh. So just enjoy the break for the shoulders Shh. and your chest and upper back. Shh. Shh. Feet stay flexed. Shh. Change. All right, we're coming up for our last plank. What is it? Up high again. Similar, open your feet. This one we're going around the world. So Gonna be in high plank, and we're gonna lift right arm up, right leg up, left leg up, left arm up, right? So go on, working your way around, clockwise, counterclockwise, anyway. So your feet are open a little bit. If that's not happening again, right? If the shoulder taps were too much, this is gonna be similar. Try just lifting one leg at a time, right? So if you're doing legs, keep the feet together and just lift one leg up. Other leg up, try to hold it for five seconds. You don't have to lift up high, right? We're not going up high, just off the ground. That's it. Here we go, ready? One minute, set, and go. And try to work your way around. Shh. 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 Or try in the legs, right? One at a time. Arms too, don't have to really come up high. Shh. Shh. I tend to want to lift them all the way up parallel to my body, but it's okay if that's not happening. Shh. Right. Shh. A lot of this is about the control it takes to lose one of those points of contact with the ground. Almost there. Shh. That's it, you can always hold your plank too, coming towards the end. Shh. Doing your best here. Couple seconds and change. Okay. All right, we got one more grasshopper. The last one. On your belly, knees open, bend your knees. Now bring the heels together and go. Exhale, lift, inhale down. Good, no rush. Squeeze up, lower down. It is not fast, not a race. And change. All right side plank on the other side. Okay. You can just roll to your other side. We are spinning around on our mats. Either way, right? Ready, set, and go. Bring the hips up. Again, pressing your forearm into the floor. Listen to if you can bring your elbow like a couple inches. Where? Towards your hips. Just a little bit, like, yeah. So elbow right under the shoulder joint, that is much better. Stretch up, squeeze your glutes. If you're doing any of these classes and you have a little mirror you can put next to you somewhere, that would be great, right? Want to watch your form, pay attention to your form each time. And if you're the only one there, right, it's on you, but you can do that. Stretch up, stretch up, last couple seconds, change.
Oh. And so it was the last second. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to come up to standing. Grab some water if you need it. I'll take a sip. And grab your weights, whatever you're using for extra weight today. If you don't have weights, you're going to do it a little differently. So here, we're going to do some squats with shoulder press. I'm going to change our camera a little bit. So I'll show you without weights first, but if you have, please, please use. All right, so without weights, you're going to basically do some frog squats we've done a few times already. Feet are about shoulder width, stomach in tight. You want to squat as low as you can. You're going to do basically with hands up behind your head. Just keep the arms up, elbows back, so you're not letting them come in. Keep them back. And then inhale, squat. Exhale up. Try not to even lean on your head with your hands, right? Just gently there. It's more about keeping the arms up. The hands are just kind of behind your head. Inhale. Shh. Right? Keeping them that way. Shh. If you have the weights, we're going to add a shoulder press. So, feet are shoulder width. Same thing, stomach in tight, same form of the squat. You're keeping your weights up by your shoulders. And then inhale, squat as low as you can. Exhale up, not locking your knees out. So don't jam them all the way back. Come all the way up and press. All right? Sure. So inhale down, exhale up from the squat and press towards the ceiling. Okay. A little further back so you see the whole thing, but inhale down, shh, all the way up. This one too, you don't have to lock the elbows out, right? Just really as pretty straight <laughs> without locking them. Here we go, ready? 20 seconds on, 10 off, set. And go. Inhale, squat, exhale, up. Squatting as low as you can, keeping your belly in, keeping your neutral spine. And so there is that natural back bend for the low back. Shh. Change. You can keep your weights up. You can drop them if you want. Doing eight rounds. Ready, set, and go. Inhale. Shh. Making sure in your squat, your knees stay behind your toes. Shh. So there's a lot of weight back on the heels. Shh. Shh. Change. Shh. And if the weights or whatever you're holding gets to be too much, again, switch to that. Hands behind your head. Ready? Go. Inhale. Shh. Shh. Keeping your neck neutral too. Shh. Through the squat and in the shoulder press. Shh. Shh. Change. And I again. Should, I should probably get weights. <laughs> well, if you have a watery thing, the weight's going to shift too. So, ready? Go. And so it might rock back and forth. So even if you have hands behind your head, your shoulders are going to have to work more than usual in a squat. Change. What are we, halfway through? I don't know. We are. Ready, set, and go. Inhale down. Press up. And if the shoulder press is easy, like Nancy said, maybe you need something a little different. Change. Okay, here we go. Now uh, the cookbooks are coming out. Let's see. See how this works. They're just so different. Yeah, okay. ready, set, and go. Remember, not locking your knees out either. I'm going to squeeze your glutes coming up from the squat. Keep a slight bend in your knees. Very slight and stomach in. 
So no pressure change or pain in the low back. I guess I should switch. America's test kitchen is much heavier than Julia <laughs> Child. Ready, set, and go. Come in towards the end. You got one more move next. Well, it's two moves, but one more bit of work for the upper body. Change. Does it involve push-ups? It does not involve push-ups today. Ooh, that's exciting. No push-ups. We'll be back another day. Ready? Go. Last round of these. My shoulders are feeling burn. Well, you have ten pounds. And whatever you're using at home, again, just looking to feel the shoulders work. Change. Now you can put your weights down, your cookbooks down. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we are going to go into, can you tilt the camera down a little bit? Okay, sure. we're going to get lower. So here, I'm going to use a chair for this one. If you don't have a sturdy chair, a chair you trust to really support a lot of weight, you're going to do tricep dips on the ground. All right, so a little turn too. Sorry. That's oh, okay. <laughs> So we see more of you too. Oh, thanks. <laughs> All right, so if you're using the chair, what you do is sit towards the edge of the chair. I'll use the couch. No. Hands on the corners. You're gonna bring your feet out in front of you, legs out. From here, keep your chest up, straight arms. You're gonna scoot your butt off the chair. Walk your feet a little forward again. All right. Keeping your chest up here, you're gonna dip down, bend the elbows. I'm not far enough off my chair. <laughs> All right. Bend your elbows, lower your body, shh, exhale up. All right, Nancy's going to demonstrate the floor one here as we start. Yeah. So same idea, just fingers are towards your butt. All right, hands behind you. All right, ready? Oh, and then we're going to go into a reverse plank. So then everyone's on the floor, and we're going to press our chest and hips up. We okay. did that the other day. Okay. Ready? Okay. Set. And go. Bending the elbows is the key. So just like Nancy has, right, bending your elbows so the backs of the upper arms are driving this. If you're using a chair, just as low as you can and then push back up. And either one, change. I'll come back to it. So reverse plank, we're on the floor. Fingers are pointing out towards your sides. Long legs, set. And go, almost like you're ready to lounge, but then we're going to lift our chest. But then we don't and lounge. hips up. Legs are straight. Look up towards the ceiling, so neck is long too. You're not dropping your head back, not tucking your chin. Breathe, unless you're glancing down your body to check your form real quick, but then go back, change. Now coming back up for dips, or staying down for dips. Ready, sure. set. And go. So this is what I was going to say is the further your feet are out, the more weight the arms are going to have to move. So if it's too much challenge, you can bring your feet closer and do the same thing. If you're feeling good, longer legs. Change. Huh. All right, coming back down. Your hands behind you, fingers pointing out to the side, set. And go. Arms are about shoulder width, right? So think of your wrists under your shoulders for this one too. Stomach in. Press your chest forward. So you could, right, sink, but not sink. I'm trying to, right, you could see my shoulders. You don't want that. Press your chest forward, right? Your chest, change. Pressing beyond the shoulders. Coming up. Which way does my hands point here? Fingers towards your butt. Yeah. Ready? And go. Yeah, so if you're on the floor for this dip, fingers towards your butt. Shh. 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 Again, use your breath. Inhale down. Exhale. Shh. All the way up. Change. This is a bit on my wrists. It is. It is. <laughs> All right, ready? Set 
and go. I will tell you, if you have the chair, it is less on the wrists. Ah, uh, now he does. Nancy can use the chair next time. I thought I was getting away Shh. easy with the floor. Shh. Well, the chair gives you more range of motion, so you can get deeper. Uh. Shh. You're going to work the muscles a little bit more and through a bigger range of motion. Change. Huh. I don't want right. the chair, thanks. <laughs> Coming back up. I but it is admittedly yeah. easier on the wrist with the chair. Ready, Ooh. set, and go. Last of these, last round. Okay, 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 okay. Shh. Again, doing good ones is much better than doing more. So prefer quality over quantity. Shh. And as much range of motion as you can. Shh. Shh. Change. Okay. All right, coming down. Last reverse plank. Ready? Yes. Set. And go. Hips up. Squeeze your glutes. Stomach in. A little bit like grasshopper. Glutes and hamstrings are working, but also now back to more of your back. Lower back, upper back. Right, press your chest up. Look up. Breathe. Change. Okay. Whew. If your wrist hurt. Swans, make your little swans talk to each other. Hello. Hello. All right. Not part of class. <laughs> Here we go. What are we going to do? Some active recovery now. Which one did we do yesterday? I already forgot. I think. The fire hydrants. And like a. Or two. Leg circles. I know. Okay. Oh, I don't know. Oh Here yeah, leg circle. We might have done leg circles. All right, let's do leg lifts. Side leg lift. So you're going to lie down, prop your head up, top hand in front. We've done this before. You're going to lean into that hand, keep your feet flexed, your thighs tight, and now exhale, lift without letting the foot turn. Inhale down. Shh. Right till this is it. I can't go higher unless I turn my foot, which is not what, not what we want. Here we go. Lying down. I'll tell you when to change sides. Ready? Prop your head up. Lean into that top hand, thighs tight, flex your feet, and go. Shh. And don't let your foot turn. It's parallel to the floor. Might even be a little pigeon toe, right? A little bit toes lower, big toe lower than the heel. Shh. But just don't go higher, right? The big toe cannot go higher than your heel here off the ground. Shh. Keep your thigh tight. Don't let the knee bend. Shh. Lean forward. Shh. 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 And change. Other side. You can just roll the face the other side. I'm going to roll all the way around. And... Here we go. Set it up. Long legs, thighs tight, flex your feet, and go. You're leaning weight into that top hand. Move slowly with control. Breathe. One more lift, one more. And change. All right, you can do whatever stretch is going to make you feel really good right now, or you can follow us. I'm going to do the same shoulder stretches and arm stretches as last week. So, you're going to sit up tall. You can sit Japanese style, cross legged. Yes, I'm doing cross legged today. <laughs> Bring your right arm across using the left arm. Left hand, now pull it across, relax your shoulders, chest up, stomach in, even here in stretching, stomach in tight. <laughs> we don't get to relax it. 
Try to keep it good, keep it in, support the back. Get some stretch in the back of your shoulder. Right, change, we're gonna switch the arms. Actually, we might do one extra stretch. It's a little awkward, but I love it for my shoulders. It's also a hip stretch, but I like the way it makes my shoulders feel. All right, change. Now, now you're thinking, a hip stretch that makes your shoulders feel good. <laughs> that is not what I was thinking. No? Okay. That's okay. Only I was thinking that. <laughs> Tricep stretch here. Change other arm. We talked about this last time. If you can, keep your head up. My shoulders will not allow it. <laughs> my arm. You can try though. I do my best to do that because my tendency would be to punch down, right? But that's not what you want. Change. We're going to do our shoulder extension. Arms behind us. Fingers point back away from your butt. Legs are long, chest up. Now it really is like a lounge position, except that you want to keep your chest up and not really sink. And now walk your hands back. One at a time, not letting them go wider than they are. Right? They're about shoulder width. Just going straight back, chest up. And you go to where you can. If you feel this, like, oh man, my shoulders can't go, then you hold it. Okay, just chest. keeping your chest up. And then try not to round, especially the lower back. It will want to round, and that really reduces the effect on the shoulders. It might mean you can go further with the arms, but that is not the important thing. Ooh, you're going to feel this all around the shoulders. Your shoulder blades are moving differently here. Keep your chest up. One more nice deep breath here. And then walk your hands forward, little by little, until you're all the way up. All right, here, we'll do a quick stretch. One more quick stretch. Okay. All right, this one, you're gonna bring your, on your belly, you're gonna bring your arm across. So my right arm, I'm bringing across, just like that first stretch we did. My right, right arm underneath, and I'm going to lie down. My left arm is above. Like you, you can drop your head down too onto your arm, keeping that arm across. Now my right leg, I'm going to bring out and up. Trying to get my thigh perpendicular to my body. Can you help there? No? <laughs> so you just want to work it up as much as you can. Yeah. Right, and then stay there. And breathe. Right. Suppose I'll try it. Right, so one arm is across. My and, yeah, that's okay. So if it's your right arm coming across. Is your hand down? Up, palm up, palm up. Okay, okay. Yeah, the right palm is up here. Right leg is coming up. Take a couple breaths there. Can a little bit more leg up. No, okay. Uh, okay. Ah, Nancy has other restrictions. Yeah. <laughs> Couch in the way. I only have so much space here. Alright, and then cha to change, you work your leg back down. And then you can press up with the left arm, and then we switch. So left arm goes under now. Okay. Left arm across. I'm gonna bring your left leg up, inching it forward. I know you can't see it on this screen, but again, trying to get your thigh pointing out towards your left side, right? Perpendicular to your spine. And stay there. Relax the hips. Try to think of your hips going towards the floor. So eventually your left hip is down, right? The whole pelvis is flat on the ground. Just like you're laying on your belly with legs behind you, straight behind you. That's my shoulder up and my chin. That's probably not right. No, you don't want your shoulder up high. Similar to that other stretch. <laughs> I feel this really big under the shoulder blade. 
Think rhomboids. And then to change, you're going to work your left leg back down. Uh, and then just roll over to Savasana. Sweet. We're here. Cross that. We are at the finish line, just about to cross. You want to relax. This is part of the class. Close your eyes if you like and breathe in through your nose. Out through your mouth. Try to stay here one minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, right? Whatever you have. And relax. Just like you start class this way, you are setting your mind right now. You have helped to set up the rest of your day. I hope you've shown how strong you are. You're showing yourself. You're proving it to yourself every day. I know I feel stronger, more determined, more focused after class every time. See that positive change in yourself. Have a great rest of your day. Namaste. Namaste.